Hello friends. So Mr. John was very unwilling to move forward and introduce himself to Dr. Cronin, but his wife pushed him forward and so he went ahead. Now their meeting is going to take place. He is going to talk to the doctor, but before that difficult words, offering means giving. Offering his test book, he asked me to explain. Difficult words. Awkwardness means, uh, we say awkwardness, uneasiness, not comfortable, we say. With an awkwardness, he came to me and asked me for some money. With an awkwardness, means not, he was not very, very comfortable to ask me uh, to borrow money from me. So with awkwardness. Haltingly means in between stopping. For example, if you say like this, I, uh, I, I, I would like to say that this is halting. To halt means to stop. But while talking, you know, you stop after every word. Then that becomes halting speech. As I told, I just now it made that, you know, I, 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 would, I would like to, 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 to speak to you. So that is a way of awkwardness. Awkwardness. Speaking with awkwardness begins. Halting. Then summer recreation. Summer recreation means summer season camps run, run for young people for recreational purposes. Like for example football camp, basketball camp or we say swimming camp. That is recreation where all the young people come during summer. Settlement houses means houses sponsored by colonies or sponsored by church or charitable institutions. That is settlement colonies. Means. They are, they are uh, being settled there in the sense that by somebody else. Somebody else has made this something like a colony, settlement houses. Employed means used. He, a teacher employs many methods to teach students. There are many methods to teach students now. So that is used. And maladjusted, not properly developed or not properly looked after. Maladjusted people. Maladjusted children, they behave, um, their behavior will be very bad in a class. Maladjusted students. It's not properly guided. This mal, mal means wrong. No? That is maladjusted means uh, wrongly uh, developed children. They are problem students in the class. You will find. But delinquent means people uh, doing wrong things. Delinquent children also. Maladjusted children, children are delinquents. Usually you find. They do wrong things in a society or in a group or in a company and so on. Or themselves also they can. Delinquent, delinquent children. You find maladjusted people, delinquent children, they usually behave in an awkward way. Understand that? These words you can connect like this. Okay, now you have got the simplified version of this. Mr. John gave his visiting card to Dr. Cronin. Visiting card means you know a small piece of uh, card where your name and uh, your address, phone number, etc., are written. It is printed actually. It is a card, printed card. So Mr. John gave his visiting card to Dr. Cronin. He thought that seeing his name on the card the doctor would identify him. He thought he, his wife pushed him forward and then he took his visiting card, a small card on which his name was written and slowly he gave to him. Offered here means gave the card to him. Uh, he thought that when he sees the name John, he would remember all those things. What I told you know in that his attempted suicide and how the doctor tried to save him. But the doctor showed no sign of knowing him. And he said, no idea who is this Mr. John. And then what happened? So Mr. John started telling him about his visit to America. So he said, uh, uh, he thought, he actually he thought that when he gets the visiting card, when he reads his name, he would remember all those incidents. But he did not show any sign of knowing anything about Mr. John. 
So he started telling something you have to uh, talk now. So he said, uh, this is, uh, I, I am traveling with you and uh, I am your co-passenger, you know, a fellow passenger, you know, and uh, I am now going to America. Uh, now I was, I came to America and now together we are moving out from America, that is from New York. And why did he come there? He tried to explain. Why? What, what made him to come to America? Those, those are the things now he is going to explain. He said uh, about his America. It was not a holiday trip. Holiday trip. He said it was not a pleasure trip. My coming to America is not for the sake of spending a few days here or enjoying. No, no. I have a, I had a purpose. And what was the purpose? He said it was a trip with a purpose. What it was a trip with a specific aim, a goal, a specific aim. What are the specific? They were touring New England states for meeting young people who were in summer recreation camps. So they wanted to, both this husband and wife, they are on a mission. What is their mission in life? To meet young people, especially young people who are in summer recreational camps. Why summer recreational camps? They are thinking about because there they can meet large number of them. If they go around, say, visiting houses, sometimes they may be able to find one or two. But in, in recreational camps, you will find there will be many young people coming and uh, practicing or undergoing coaching programs, programs and so on. So they can see a number of them, a large number of them and talk to them. So the mission of the husband and wife, their program is to meet young people wherever they, can, they could find and that you particularly in large numbers so that, so that they can meet and talk to young people and their problems, they can solve, try to solve their problems. So it was they were visiting America with a missionary spirit, not for as a trip, not a pressure trip, not an excursion, not a um, trip for seeing, uh, visiting different places or seeing different places. Now, sightseeing was not their purpose at all. Their purpose was some humanitarian. Their purpose was something based on charity. They wanted to go around and see young people who are delinquent, who are uh, maladjusted, not properly developed, not properly guided. People who are doing wrong things, they wanted to uh, meet them, talk to them, give them counseling, and also, if possible, to bring them back to the track. Those people who are delinquent, you know, they are not on the track. When you are, when you are using too, spending too much time on mobile, then you are a maladjusted person. If you take drugs, you are maladjusted and delinquent. If you smoke, at this age, maladjusted and delinquent. If you cheat people, maladjusted and delinquent. If you are not attending your classes properly, you are maladjusted and also delinquent. So he was, they were in search of such people. They wanted to bring them back to the, bring them back to a decent way of living. That's why, that is their purpose to visit America. That's what he says. Not a pressure trip, it was a New England states for meeting young people who were in summer recreational camps. They also visited settlement houses in New York and other cities. Usually settlement houses means that is houses sponsored by church or in some other organization. That means the people living there are not very rich. Comparatively they will be poor economically. They are economically challenged young men. So when you are economically challenged or you are poor, there is every possibility that you may go wrong. You may not be properly guided. You may have the tendency, when you are not properly guided, what will happen? You will have the tendency to do wrong things. So these people, the couple here, husband and wife, they are coming, they came to America with a missionary spirit to help such people, to find out such people and then identify their problems and help them. That is the reason why they are here. Studying your other 
They were studying the methods used for dealing with cases of young people who did not have anyone to guide them. That is maladjusted people. They were visiting these camps and, and also clubs and where young people come. They wanted to learn something. What is that? What is that? They wanted to learn. They wanted to learn the methods by which such young men can be trained and brought back to the proper track of life, a proper way of life. That's the reason they have come. Dealing with sinners guide them. They have also wanted to study the ways to train and guide backward youths, young people, backward, and also those young men who are orphaned on streets. People, uh, children orphaned on streets means left out without any guidance. The parents may not be uh, looking after them or they did not get a proper schooling. So, so such people are there. And so they are in search of such people. They are finding out, trying to find out where are these people, how to help them, what are the methods of training them, what are the methods of guiding them, what are the methods of counseling them, and what are the methods of bringing back to normal, decent, dignified way of life. So that was their purpose. So in this section of the text, what you find is, you find a husband and a wife, a couple, invested their aim in life. See, as later on we will see that he was a, he was working as a solicitor. Um, at the same time, he finds time to do social work. The social work of, of the first order, very important, very honorable. Why? Because both of them, husband and wife, they support each other. For once, they have only one aim in life. That is to look after young people who have gone, have taken the wrong paths of life, the wrong ways of living. Understand? I hope now you got the point. Now let's begin to read the text. Excuse me, doctor. I wonder if I might introduce myself. So that is, when you are introducing yourself to a stranger, it's a very polite way of saying, I wonder if I might introduce myself. Suppose you are, you, you meet a, a stranger and you want to talk to him, then you can use this expression. I wonder if I might introduce myself to you. He spoke almost breathlessly because he is nervous. Then he, he might have spoken like this. He says, I wonder if I might introduce myself. Breathlessly. That means he doesn't take, he, he cannot uh, properly inhale and exhale in the rhythmic way. That is, understand. Take air in and take air out. Push air out rhythmically. That's what we will do. There's a rhythm in this. But here the, the rhythm is broken, breathless. Why? Because he is in a very awkward state. Or he is nervous. Or he is afraid to go and talk to him. So he spoke almost breathlessly, offering me, giving me <coughs> his visiting card. He held in his hand and studying my face to see if the name meant anything to me. So he was holding the visiting card in his hand. And then he went to, towards the doctor and said that, I wonder if I might introduce myself. <laughs> and then he was waiting whether, uh, when, when he sees, when the doctor sees his name, will there be some reaction on his face? But there is no reaction at all. Then as it plainly did not, as it plainly did not, that means the name did not make any reaction on the face of the doctor. It means the visiting her and the name. Then as it plainly, clearly, did not, did not miss, did not make any change on the face of the doctor. He went on, continued with the same awkwardness. Awkwardness, nervousness here. See that? Nervousness or uneasiness or not comfortable. Awkwardness. If you could spare a few minutes. <laughs> See that? Lord's there. Halting. And if, you, if you can spare a few minutes. My wife and I would like to work with you. 
that's what it is. Breathless, awkward, and he is not there. He is not comfortable because he is afraid. Good dog. He is a doctor. He is a big man. I don't know who is he. And in, uh, above all, he knew the, what the doctor did to him. And he was, he was also aware that doctor knows everything about this man. So therefore, what happens? He is awkward, he is nervous, and his speech is halting. Means he is not seeking in other. So then. then, as it plainly, he went on with the same awkwardness. If you could spare a few minutes, if you, if you give me a few minutes, if you could spare a few minutes, my, my, my wife, I would, I would like to have a bird with you. That, this is how he spoke. A moment later, I was occupying the vacant chair beside me. So when he made such a request, I went a uh, little further. There was a vacant seat and doctor sat on the seat. And then haltingly, he told me, halting, <laughs> like this, breaking the speech, you know, broken speech, you can say. So, halting, haltingly, he told me that this had been their first visit to America. Uh, uh, do, uh, do, doctor, this, this, this is, this is our, uh, our, our first visit. <laughs> Something like that, he must have said, because he's nervous, that's the thing. Haltingly, he Halting, a broken speech, not continuous. Continuously, if we speak, he will say, uh, uh, Doctor, uh, this is not, uh, don't think that this is our first visit from here yet. I don't know, this is, this is, is well, I was so, then he said, this had been there, he said, Doctor, you know, this is our first visit to America. Like Instead of that, he is, the speech is broken, halting. It was not entirely a whole trip. That also is said. This is not his first trip. This is not a holiday trip. Some people, when they get holidays, you know, they like to go around touring. Tour. They are tourists. We have seen tourists. We have seen many tourists coming to India, not for, uh, not uh, in search of young men and helping them, but it's for pleasure trip. As far as they are concerned, it is a pleasure. They come, go to different places. They go to Adirapalli. They go to Kumaragam. Then they then go to Thakadi and so on. So that's what they do. They are not people who are they are not people who are interested in social work. They are people who are interested in enjoying life. They had been making a tour of the New England states. New England states, part of America, inspecting many of the summer recreational camps for young people there. So they came to America. And they were, as I said, we were traveling around, especially to New England states. And there we were trying to get in touch with young people, large number of them, because you can see large number of them in recreational camps. Recreational camps, say camps meant for recreation, it's pleasure, right? pleasure and the enjoyment and so on. That is, say, playing cards, playing uh, other games and so on, uh, or uh, uh, mild gambling, mild, <laughs> no, understand? So such kind of things. There's no pressure. For young people there, why did they go to summer recreation camps? Because there they can find large number of young people. Their main idea is that to meet as many young people as they can. Afterwards, they had visited settlement houses in New York. Settlement houses, houses sponsored by church, church settlement houses, government, we have got no such kind of places, colonies sponsored by sometimes business people, companies, and religious organizations, and charitable organizations. Such kind of houses are called settlement houses. And what is so peculiar or special about settlement houses, usually there may be people who are economically challenged. That means comparatively poor. So then when they when you are poor, one that's one way, that's all that's all right. When you have poverty, sometimes take you to maladjustment and also 
poverty can lead to delinquency. There is to do wrong things and so on. There's many possibilities there. Not that all poor people are like that, but there is a possibility. Afterwards, they had visited settlement houses in New York and other cities. So New York, he has seen now. This is the second day, first day, nothing happened. Second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, final. So there's traveling from New York some, to some place. To other cities to study the methods employed in dealing with cases of backward, backward children, backward people, that means not properly educated or they, they did not have proper opportunities for education and development and growth. So backward people or it can be because of the social status, backward, maladjusted, not properly guided. And therefore what happens, maladjustment means they don't know how to behave properly in a situation. Maladjusted, eating habits, you know, and dining habits, such kind of things. Or dealing with the elders and the, uh, respecting elders. Those things are, if, the, if you don't know such things, then you are a maladjusted person, behaving properly in the classroom. If you don't know that, you are maladjusted. And uh, dealing with your friends, dealing with the elders, dealing with uh, people who are in authority, maladjusted person. If you, suppose you enter, enter, you want to meet the principal, you enter the principal's room and say, hi principal. That means you are a maladjusted person. <laughs> you don't know properly how to behave properly, yes. And delinquent youth, delinquent people, young people who do wrong things in society. Understand? That is delinquent youth. So what is their aim in life? Mr. John and Mrs. John. Their aim is nothing but work among, do social work among the youth. What kind of youth? Backward people, maladjusted young men, delinquent, delinquent young men. And therefore, where did they go? They wanted to meet young people and that too in large numbers. They went to recreational camps. They went to settlement houses. Good. Most probably, you will find problem children there. Young men who have got problems. Problems means problem of adjustment, problem of behavior, see, problem of properly and decent behavior, dignified behavior and so on. Therefore they thought, we'll go and drop them. Plus, they went around to see different ways of training them. They wanted to learn how to guide them, how to, how to bring them or what are the methods used for guiding such kind of young men. What may be the reason for this kind of work they have undertaken? Because of the experience that this young man had uh, when, you remember now, in his younger days. His parents, both of them died. Nobody to look after them. He had an uncle. And then what happened? The uncle somehow managed to get him a job and while doing the job he fell in bad company and started betting, he lost everything that led him to steal, not borrow, <laughs> steal seven pounds and ten shillings from the office of the solicitor and then he became very uh, disappointed because he lost that also and he was thinking about, he was worried about the, what, would, what would happen to him. Because he was unable to uh, replace that money. Therefore he thought he will be prosecuted. So all kinds of problems came in a nightmare. And so bad dreams came to his mind. He thought of ending his life, committing suicide. Attempt, he attempted it. But who saved them? The story, towards the end of the story, you will see that the doctor paid seven pounds and ten shillings for him to come out of his debt. 
understand that is so so that is the reason as i told you in the beginning no he was blessed by three people so he thought of blessing as many people as he could a super idea that we should also be like that we should be thankful grateful not just say thanks thanks that we know you have to put that in the practice and that is by you are helped so you should help others very simple as so from this paragraph what do you understand about the character of this man behavior he was nervous he was breathless he was awkward and he did not know what to do he was in a in 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 a way again say he was a person who was like who was like like a fish out of water when a fish is out of water what will happen you must have seen that isn't it breathless and then it is, it is uh, trying to somehow survive yes. it's a, something like you know struggling with his life a fish is struggling with the life when it is out of water so this man was like that so in the beginning you will find that giving me sitting or speaking breathlessly halting all these symptoms we can see or the signs of a man who is nervous who does not know what to do and you can compare that to a fish that is out of water and what was the purpose of his visit the purpose of his visit was not pleasure not enjoyment not recreational not just for touring not as a tourist both of them then what was their aim the aim was to visit recreational camps and also the places where you find uh, say uh, comparatively poor young men in, in settlement houses recreational camps and said why did they go to recreational camps and settlement houses so that they can meet as many young men as possible or if you go to a house you may get one or two but if you find in a call if you go to a colony if you go to a club and so on you can find it, any number of them why did they want to meet the same people they wanted to meet this young people to help them out to bring them back to the track to help them to lead a dignified life what uh, why did they go to different places and camps another reason to study says the different methods employed in dealing with cases of delinquents maladjusted and also awkward or backward youth so their aim is their they have got the same their target population is backward and men maladjusted and men a delinquent and and men backward not properly educated it can be economically backward also then maladjusted no pro- not properly guided delinquent means doing wrong things in life so their aim their mission is that why did they come to america they came to they came to america to meet young people and also to learn different methods by which backward maladjusted and delinquent young men are brought back to a life of dignity as a decent life that is the reason i hope now we have answered all the questions isn't it in the from this section we have answered all the questions so the main the, the central idea here is the man a nervous person how do you know that he was nervous breathless halting speech awkward behavior and also you find the way he is uh, going towards with great nervousness listen and then you find uh he the he was explaining why 
they came to America. The reason, it was not the pressure came. And next point you find is that where did they go? They went to New England states for recreational camps, in search of recreational camps and also settlement houses to meet young people. What kind of young people? Backward, maladjusted and delinquent. Why did they meet such kind of, why did they want to meet such people? Because they want to guide them. They want to give them direction. They want to, they wanted to bring them back to a decent way of living and life. Understand? I think it is very clear to you for the time being. Bye. See you again. Till then, take it easy. Have a nice time.